Now this one, <laughs> I don't know about you, but this one is scary to me. You know, how would you like an army of these things coming marching at you and they're, you know, they got guns mounted on the back of them and shields and stuff like that. This thing is not that far from, you know, uh, a mechanized army that could come marching into your town, right? <laughs> so, but that's not really the point for us here. The point for us here is that this thing is now cyber. It's not a living creature, but it is cyber and it has input processing and output. So let's look at the rubric for this. Right? What has it got on input? It can see. It has actual. It has an actual vision, a visual system. I don't think it has a, a hearing system. I, I read about it, and I don't think it has a hearing system. It doesn't do anything with sound. Um, it doesn't do anything with touch or, or with smell. But what it's really got going for it, and this is a big deal, is it has high input fidelity on things like balance. It's got a balance system. It can sense where it is. You saw it skating across ice, right? It can balance itself. It has a really high degree of body sense. It knows where all its limbs are at every moment. And it even has that internal organ system. Remember I talked about you, you can understand your heart rate and all that kind of stuff. Well, it's always measuring, it's always monitoring the internal state of all its pumps and gears. So it's got that internal stuff going as well. And because it has such a, a, such a significant and high fidelity input system, that allows it to do movement and moving around really well because that's what moving around depends on. You can't move around really well as an artificial being if you can't really sense those things like your balance and where the parts of your body are and what the current state of all your internal organs are. Won't, you won't be able to move around and so that's why they developed this thing with all of those uh, with, with that, that high fidelity so that it could do all of those things. And it's doing a tremendous amount of processing. There's some computer in there that's just going really fast figuring out if my leg is here and I just move this way, I got to move my leg over there and right, tons and tons of processing. It's not just it's not just some guy with a remote control making it move. It's doing its own internal processing. So this cyber dog is input processing and output. It, it actually moves around with high effectiveness. I think you would agree. <laughs> it's highly effective in its environment. It can, it can move around and it can go all over the place. Okay, does it believe? Does it have immersion in its own belief? I think we can safely assume that this thing is a machine, right? But as we move along the cyborg, uh, the cyborg uh, as we move along the cyborg trail, we're going to get to ones that we can start talking about beliefs and, and immersion.